Mario. Me, Mario. He's supposed to say it's a me. Hello. All right, it's time for the best title screen ever. <laughs> Where we can grab Mario's body parts and uh, stretch him around. Got your nose, Mario. Eh, eh. You can use the C buttons to change the perspective. And if you hold R, you can even keep them stretched in place. It's amazing. This is officially the best Mario game that's ever been created. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> I'm just so happy to see you, Mobius! <laughs> this is what Mario really looks like, you know! <laughs> and for those of you wondering, I am playing this on an actual N64. No emulation here. I, I love the new Mario games as well. Or the new 3D Mario games as well. But I think 64 is the best. Sonic! Thank you so much for the subscription! Thank you so much. Enjoy. Oh, thank you for the four months as well. Enjoy the gold banana. <laughs> oh, so happy to have you. If you're just in time for us to stretch Mario's face around. This is the real game, by the way. <laughs> I know when people speedrun the game, they never actually talk about speedrunning this part, which is the, by far the most important. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing to Mario? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Mario, you look so sad. <laughs> One of these will be a great thumbnail, though. <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, let's get started. I'm live on TV right now. Oh, boy, I've always wanted to be on TV. Hi, everyone! <laughs> yeah, this game hits the sweet spot. Well, this was the first 3D game... Boom, we haven't even started yet. <laughs> All right, we've got four great save files, but we're deleting this one. Mario A just got erased. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Mario 64, one of the first 3D games ever, and it really codified the 3D platformer genre, even to this day, of what it did. It's awesome. Let's get started. 120 stars, here we come. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. Still a better love story than Twilight. Oh darn it, I forgot to turn off the heat. <laughs> so now, well if you can hear the slight in the background, that's my heater. Ah. Uh, what a class, what a great game. Despite never 100%ing this, this is one of my favorite games ever, so <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Look at that glorious warp pipe. And just like that, Mario jumped into the world of 3D. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe! Using the controller is a piece of cake! Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. It's weird, because I've never... I've never gotten everything in this game... But I yet I know a bunch of speedrun tricks, and I can actually pull them off. I think you can also punch butterflies in this game, and they give you stuff. Yeah. I might be crazy about that. <laughs> Princess Toadstool's castle's just ahead. Press A to jump, Z to crouch, and B to punch, read a sign, or grab something. Press B again to throw something that you're holding. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe that's one of those urban legends that isn't actually true. Look at this glorious polygon count. I love it. Okay, I... I yeah. Unless it's unfairly precise, I've definitely done this before. Or I've definitely... <laughs> you can't do it. Hello? Anybody here? Oh boy, a sign! <laughs> Must read. 
Hold Z to crouch and slide down a slope, or press Z while in the air to grab, pound the ground. If you stop, crouch, then jump, you'll do a backward somersault. Got that? There's more. Crouch, then jump to do a long jump, or crouch and walk to... Well, never mind. Go, go, gaga. Okay, I don't think you can actually punch butterflies. I thought they would drop coins if you did, but... Oh yeah, Mario's sound effects in this game are iconic. It's great. Oh, nope, Lakitu, no Lakitu skip for me. Good afternoon, the Lakitu Bros here, reporting live from just outside of Princess Peach's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and we'll be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. And to take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up. Press A to resume play, switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros. I love how, like, their answer to, like, how the camera works is that there's literally a cameraman following you around. It's great. Welcome! No one's home! Now scram and don't come back! <laughs> but you- but I was told that there was a cake. And one of the most iconic overworld themes ever. Hey, Toad! Am I glad to see you, the princess, and I, and, well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls! Bowser has stole the castle's stars, and he's using the power to create his own world in the paintings and walls! Please recover the star power stars! As you find them, you can use their power to open up the doors that Bowser has sealed! There are four rooms in the first floor! Start in the one in the painting with the bob bob inside! It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed! Bowser. <laughs> when you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the big door of a big star! The princess must be inside! Ugh. I can't do Toad's voice very well. No, the cake is real. I got it at the end. Alright. World one time! I did say Bowser. Big bob -bob on the summit. Wow! You're smack in the middle of the battlefield! You'll find the power stars the Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob -bob buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in the other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. I don't, no, the, the random bob ain't doing nothing for me. Now we're going to... not a speedrun, because when I say Mario 64 speedrun, people have a much different idea in mind, and I'm not good at speedrunning. But it's a fast playthrough. Hi, Chain Chomp! This is like the only game where I find the Chain Chomp to be kind of creepy in. Ouch! Ouch! There we go. <laughs> I, I want to see Powser in a game now. That would be great. Here we go! Oh, shoot. I forgot to delay my microphone volume. So, you're hearing my mic before the actual stuff happens. There we go, that should fix it. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars! Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of the Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save as- save us, Mario! <laughs> I thought they were telling me to save the game. Alright, that's enough of World 1. Gotta go fast! Here's my star! Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Oh boy, Peach has a, a tiny room just filled with stained glass and windows of herself. It's slide time! Alright, gotta do this fast. Yeah, I'm not a speedrunner, but I do know some tricks to make things go faster in this game. No! Wow! I... Wow. I suck. I failed at the slide. Yeah, you can kind of see why I didn't necessarily get 100% in this game. I'm not that good at it. Alright, let's try this again. You're lousy. Thanks, Waluigi. When are we getting Waluigi in a 3D Mario game? Uh-oh. 
No! If I was literally a millisecond faster, I would have gotten a, the other star. Wow. Literally, that is the exact time you get if you don't get the star. It has to be under 21 seconds. That's fine. We have to do the slide twice anyways, so... I just gotta be really fast this time. Gotta hug the inside. Hug the inside. There we go. Here we go! Oh man, the sound effects in this game are just classic. One of the castle's secret stars! You've recovered free power stars! Now you can open any door with a free on its star. You can, you can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. What enemies? I haven't seen any enemies. Alright, let's go to Best World. Womp's Fortress. Womp's Fortress is... <laughs> always has been and always will be my favorite world in a 3D Mario game. It's amazing. Chip off Womp's block. Wow, it's the Lakitu Bros in Womp's Fortress. Nobody cares. Okay. <sighs> I forgot some of the physics in this game are annoying. <laughs> like Mario refusing to move stuff when he's on a wall. Alright. Time to sequence break this star. Time to sequence break this star. There we go. Easy. Does anybody do that star the intended way now? Shoot into the wild blue! Or 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 just jump off the wall, that also works. Okay, but now we're gonna chip off Womp's block. For realsies this time. What? I thought I killed him. No! Come on! You can't even grab onto the edge, Mario? Good grief. Yeah, Mario's got finicky physics in this game. I know it's the first 3D platformer game ever, so... It's to be expected that there's some kinks, but man... Okay. I'm also using a controller with a bad control stick, it seems, because I was holding left as hard as I could and he was barely moving at all. Wonderful. Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! No. <sighs> Just get up there. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oops, I missed that. It makes me so mad. We build your houses and, uh, and your walls, but you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha! All right. I love that glitch. <laughs> this game has a lot of glitches. One of the most broken games ever. And I love it because of it. No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. Er, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. Ah, yeah. Wonderful. Now we can get the rest of the stars. Come on. Thank you. All right. It takes it takes a while to get used to the game again. Oh, still no Bob. -omb? He doesn't unlock in mission two. Great. Yeah, I'm holding left as fast as I possibly, as hard as I can, and Mario is not running at full speed. No, I 
said kick, not dive head first off a cliff. Or maybe he's only maybe he's only moving that slowly because the game is lagging. This like, game lags a lot if you play on the N64. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. There it is. The hidden one up. Ow! Stupid bullet bill. I forgot the bullet bills are even in this game. Because they only appear, I think, on this level. In this area. Oh, really, Mario? Oh no, I barely brushed by the wall, but time to fall like a brick to the floor. No! What the heck? He came out of nowhere! Yeah, if you're looking for a guy who's actually good at the game, you're in the wrong stream. But maybe you're not here because of that. <sighs> okay, I swear I remember the game's physics being better than this. Like, I, re I remember the game being hard to control at times. I don't remember it being this bad. Maybe it's just because I finished playing Banjo-Tooie. Which has way better controls, but... And it's another N64 3D platform. Okay. Are you serious, Mario? Are you serious, Mario? Just backflip up there. It's not difficult. Oh, man. The annoying thing is you cannot change Mario's direction in midair after he jumps. I mean, I get that's probably a realistic physics, but I don't play Mario for realistic physics. <laughs> hey Proxima, nice to see you. Welcome to Mario 64. We've already died and we're only on World 2. So fans are going swimmingly. <laughs> Red coins on the floating aisle. Alright. Now the cannon is open. Ow. Hey, dude. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Ready for blast off. Cool. I still don't know how you'd ever be expected to know that that's the wall in particular that you need to blast away, but there you go. I also didn't know you could climb on top of signs. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. No, you missed the star, Mario. Alright, fine, we'll blast to it. Did you, you never finish the game, or you never 100%ed it? Ow! Mm. Ow. Sorry to hear that. I, I've i nearly 100%ed this game a bunch, but the, honestly, this is one of those games that I'm just like, I could never bother going back to finish it, just because those freaking 100 coin stars are really not fun to get. At least once you get to the later levels. It's pretty fun to do on Womp's Fortress, because there are coins everywhere. And speaking of which, let's get it over with now. Red coins on the floating aisle. Hey, piranha plant. Thanks for the five coins. Grab the freaking crate. <laughs> We're actually going to climb in the fortress the intent. Are you 
What? Are you serious? Why did Mario decide to slide on his butt and refuse to do anything but slide off a cliff? What the heck? I did not tell him to do that. He, he voluntarily did that all on his own. Oh, I, I need to take that sound alert out now, now that Arthur is finished with the baseball team. Hi, Thwomps. Um, apparently that counts as being under him. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I... <laughs> I really hate the physics of this game now. <laughs> Good lord. One, one of my biggest gripes about physics in platformers is not allowing you to change direct the direction you're moving in the air. That's one of the reasons why I just can't stand the SNES Donkey Kong Country games and prefer the GBA versions, because the GBA versions you can turn in midair. SNES versions you really can't. <laughs> I have not played Fall Guys. I've seen it, though. That game is literally designed to have dumb physics, though. I'm gonna cut this game some slack, though, because, again, first 3D platformer and all that. So it was still ironing out a lot of the kinks. <sighs> man, some parts of this game, man, they're just not fun. Especially, especially, it's like, oh no, a five degree incline. I'm gonna slide down it with absolutely no way to control me, so I'm just gonna go off a cliff. <laughs> Give me that. Ow. And this is like the easiest level in the game. I'm going to suffer real hard in the harder levels. Especially since this course, like, <laughs> I think this course has the most coins out of any of the levels. Like, you can almost get 200 coins on this level. Do 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 do! Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually really easy to do. Uh, whenever I saw people do that in speedrunning, I'm like, how do they constantly just alternate mashing A and B like that? You don't mash A, you just hold A and mash B. Wow, that was... Okay. <laughs> I thought speedrunners had to do crazy things to do that, but no, they just hold the button. Interesting, so you can get extra coins by jumping on their backs. <laughs> and there we go! Well, a quick enemy respawn is just something to take for granted. You've collected 100 coins! Mario gains more power from the castle! Don't know why, but there you go. You covered 8 of the power stars! Now you can face Bowser. Cool. It also annoys me that, like, some... Yeah, like, Mario grabbed onto that platform, but he didn't grab onto the other one. Also, something I didn't know until very recently. You can kick this down. Did not know you could do that. I thought... <laughs> show you what I did. In the past, anytime I had to do this, I would just long jump here. Man, that bullet bill is relentless. Seriously, I, I did not know that you could kick that down. Because that's the... No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Mario, you are extremely aggravating. At least I already got the 100 coins. But, wow. Alright. Mario's like, oh, herpy derpy, I'm going to slide off the cliff of my own accord, no matter what you do. I should have played Mario Galaxy. I should have played Mario Galaxy instead. That That's the game with the best physics in any Mario game. That or Odyssey. Odyssey also had pretty good physics, but... I, I prefer Galaxy. Actually, do I? I think a lot of the reason I prefer Galaxy is just the nostalgia. Alright, let's get the difficult red coins first. Okay, why is it that Bullet Bill just homes in on you? That is not how Bullet Bills work. Not in this game. Alright, can I get the red coin from up here? That counts. Cool, cool. Now, where's the last red coin again? I actually don't remember. Oh, it's just behind this. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's not fall off the cliff this time, Mario. There we go. My favorite stage and one of the easiest stages is giving me this much trouble. This does not bode well. Alright, let's get the last star and get out of here. This is another star I didn't realize how to do. So, I'm supposed to summon this owl. Who's there? Who? Wake me up! Oh, it's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press and hold A to grab on, and release A to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Yeah, I didn't know this guy existed in the game, so every time I wanted to get this star in the past, I, w I would just use a precise cannon shot. And there we go. Fall onto the caged island. That's Womp's Fortress complete. Is the wing cap available? Yes, it is. Yeah, you can get it with the cannon. It's just a precise shot. Welcome to wing cap tower. Yes, I know where I am. Alright, the wind cap, I both love you and hate you. I like you because you're really cool, I hate you because you're incredibly difficult and nearly impossible to control. Also, something funny, while I have not gotten 100% in Mario 64, I have gotten 100% in Mario 64 DS even though that has 150 stars in it instead of just 120. Are you serious? I hate... I hate the wind cap. I like parts of it, but... Welcome back to wind cap tower! Shut up. This is practice, because the real... Can I tell you, the one star I've never... I think the one star I've never gotten in the game is freaking Wing Mario over the rainbow. That one is the worst. I also may have never gotten 100 coins in TikTok. Huh? I can't remember. I've stomped on the floor before, though. But Wing Mario over the rainbow is just like... Why? Actually, the Wing cap here is just... Uh, uh, no! No, I missed one! I hate this stage. Well, I don't hate the stage, I just hate wind cap physics. Wind cap could have been really good, but it's not. 
If you welcome me to Windcap Tower one more time. I tear out your esophagus so you can't welcome me to Windcap Tower again. Oh my gosh, we're so happy to see you back here again. Like, I'm just trying to grab the coins. This was one of the hardest stars for me to get in the DS version. Alright. Oh boy, now you can get use the wing cap anywhere these blocks appear. Sure do. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> One of the castle's secret stars. Oh my gosh. All right, back to Bob on Battlefield. Yeah, I get frustrated when things don't go my way for things that aren't really my fault. Even though you can absolutely argue that this is my fault, things aren't going my way because I just suck at controlling stuff in this game. You could punch enemies to knock them down. Why would you punch enemies in this game? Why? It's much easier to jump on them. Plus, it's Mario, so... Hi, Chain Chomp. Hi. I also, I also am seriously wondering if my controller is just bad and, like, I can barely move with it at times. It feels like certain directions that I input just don't work. Okay, that's too steep to do the kick up. I can accept that. That's fine. Ouch! Who set up a bowling alley in Womp's Fortress anyways? Hey! <laughs> Shortcut! Hey, bob -Om. I'm the big bob -Om, lord of all blasting matter, king of kabooms of the world over! How dare you scale my mountain! By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? It said you were on the summit, I wanted to say hi! You may have ended my, eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. I think I can. It always is kind of weird. It was always weird to me that if you throw him off a cliff, he's like, that's not fair. Like have to throw him on the actual solid ground. Like you'd think throwing him off the cliff would kill him really quickly. What? What? Or could it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. <laughs> what a gracious loser. Here we go. Oh boy! Big Bob, I'm on the summit. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. We'll, we'll race him later. We're peace loving Bob Oms, but here, I'll prepare the cannon for you. <laughs> what a tasty treat! I love the Mario Advance sound effects. Ready for blast off! My favorite Mario Advance sound effect is probably when Luigi completes a level. It sounds like he says, Now, I'm a movie! <laughs> Even though he says, I'm a moving. Alright. Let's get the 100 coin and red coin star over with. This one's a bit more annoying to get 100 coins on. There aren't, coins aren't as plentiful. I could get that sound bite. I don't want to overwhelm everybody with sound bites, though. Because I feel I fear I might be getting towards that point. Give me my money. It's mine. I earned it fair and square. You'd think that defusing bombs would net you more than one coin. It don't. <laughs> Yeah. 
Just grab the Dane bob -omb. Good lord. Not that hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's too many. A hundred is definitely too many. <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah. There we go. Got hit by a Goomba. How humiliating. Fine, I'll punch you. There you go. <laughs> I always forget the, the the roundhouse kick even exists as a move. Camera, can you really not tilt to the... Wow. Wow. The camera's even worse than I remember as well. Okay, Marty. Well, I could have used that leftover pad tie in Womp's Fortress before I died like five times. But welcome. Hey, where's the Koopa Troopa? There's supposed to be a Koopa Troopa here who gives me a free blue coin. Hey, Chain Chomp. Don't mind me. Ouch. Rude, I'm just trying to run around your peg a bunch so I can get free money. Is that a crime? I don't think it is. Alright, okay, I believe you. You'd think that ground pounding the pegs would give you the money, but no, it's running around the pegs that gives you the money. After this mission, I might. Well, I'm not sure if you can unplug your controller and replug it back in a new one on N64. It's a little finicky about that, but I might. This controller doesn't feel good. The control stick really feels. Like, it's not reacting. Mario! Okay, Mario! Did I already get that one? Or is that one just glitched? Man, grabbing the bob -ombs is way harder than I remember. Especially after they start running towards you. I know, Mari, Marty, I have not 100%ed this. In fact, the only 3D Mario game I've technically 100%ed is Mario Galaxy 2. I never got all the shines and shines and sunshine because, I mean, I do not care. I, I got 240 stars in Mario Galaxy, but I never did the final bonus level because I didn't know where it was. And then Odyssey, I haven't gotten all the moons in either. At the very least, I don't want to have to jump rope 10,000 times. Okay, that was not even my fault. That was literally Mario just refusing to change direction. <sighs> my gosh. No, that is the wrong thing. Mario, I said kick. Mario, I said kick, you dumb butt. Mario, do you know how to kick? Good lord! Mar- Okay, forget, forget this. Mario has physically forgotten how to kick up that slope, so we're just going to slide down from above. If you're moving forward, you can't kick, then how do you kick up slopes? Stop firing that cannon. 
Oh, that cannon doesn't even need you to be there. He just fires all on his own. Cool. Alright. Where's the island in the sky? There it is. Cowabungaloo! Okay, that was not... I was told you could do that. Maybe I was at the wrong part of the mountain. Fine. We'll go up for the cannon. There we go. Alright, here we go. Aim for the tree. Just like that. Alright. This is the part of the level I don't like. To get 100 coins, you need to use Wayne Cap for these coins. What is going on? What is happening? Um, what? My game is possessed! What is this? I just broke everything! What if I get in the cannon? What is happening? This is a regular old N64 game! Ah! And it fixed itself! Nope, it's back. Ah! I'm scared. This this is legit creepier than my my DDLC playthrough. <laughs> Super possessive 64. What's up, Shaggy? <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Here to join the carnage, eh? Oh, that's actually not good. Oh, ground pound, ground pound. Uh, not high enough. Ooh! I'm not, I'll, I'll look at the cartridge after I get my last freaking coins. <laughs> Priorities, Shaggy. I'm, I'm too... I need that 100 coin star. <laughs> Alright. Yoink! <laughs> That's... Yeah, that can definitely make it into the highlights video. Alright. Now we gotta get that star that we grabbed. That's the problem with... I shouldn't have saved these for last. Because now that star is gonna be such a pain in the butt to grab. Where did it go? Am I too far below it? Oh, it's way over there. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, 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 No! No! Okay, it seems... The weirdness seems to have stopped, but, um... Yeesh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Shoot for the moon. And if you miss, you'll end up with the stars! Well, maybe we'll have to do a flight detour to get the stars, but... There we go! Fly gently to the ground. Here we go! Alright. Now we have the choice of we can either get... Nah. Red coins are harder to grab, and we're one away, so we're gonna get the red coin star. Yeah, I, I didn't realize we were playing the Mario 64 Chaos Edition. I would never play that. That's just not fun. <laughs> well, hopefully that's the end of the weirdness, but you never know. Especially if an arty stream. Alright. Now, normally I don't like the wind cap. But that last red coin is the one on that slope. There we go! Alright, we grab we grab the star. <laughs> and then I'm gonna reset the console and get me a new controller. <laughs> and hopefully everything will play a little bit better. Here we go. Metal Cap is the best cap. Find the eight red coins and destroy the world while you do it. 
All right. Turning this off. <laughs> Getting a new controller. <laughs> Blowing on the cartridge. It's like old times. All right. Do, 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 do. Um, no, Marty. I am not doing this in one afternoon. This is just the beginning of my 100% playthrough. I would have to, like, set a, a speedrunning world record to do it all in one day. Not really, but... Oh, wait. Forgot to blow on the cartridge. <laughs> there was one YouTube video... Of a guy who had, like, a really worn-down copy of Super Mario 64. Is every Fina... <laughs> Is every Fina... Oh, that's weird. Hang on. So I've got the game booted up, but... Apparently the... Apparently the... Oh. Ah, uh, something wasn't plugged in properly. But I got the game booted up, and it looks like it, everything's now lighter. Okay, come on. Professional streamer, ladies and gentlemen. Just, it keeps making the you unplugged something sound effect, but not the actual you plugged something in sound effect. Okay. It's back on the TV. Is it gonna... Why is my capture card not doing anything? Come on! I mean, sure, you can request music while you wait. Oh yeah, because you guys can't even hear the in-game audio, but I can. I mean, you can request music pretty much anytime you want. The problem is, if you play it while the game music is playing, then it's going to be double music. Okay. Console reset. Let's try this again. My, my emulator screen just keeps saying, one moment, please. I don't know why. You can hear it through my microphone, but not at the actual game. Bot. What the heck is up with this? Activate game capture. Oh, did the deactivate button just get pressed somehow? Oh, there we go. Okay, apparently it deactivated itself for no reason. Okay, and now it's back to the darker brightness. Okay. Oh, yeah, this controller feels so much better. Oh, this controller feels so much better. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully there will be less. <laughs> yes, Marty, this is our N64, the only one we have. Foot race of Koopa the Quick. On the subject of weird Mario cartridges, though, there was a guy who had like a really rundown Mario cartridge. Hey, can you beat Koopa the Quick? Yes. It was like a really, really rundown copy of Mario 64, and he plugged it in and like started playing it, and then like <laughs> the the intro screen pulled up, and it was. Like, it's me, Mario. <laughs> it was like a really deep pitched. It was great. Um, how do you know that that's your folder, Marty? That could have been anybody's 43 star folder. Could have been mine. Alright, Koopa the Quick. Also, I'm about to commit sacrilege. I don't like this music. 
Hey, Nintendo Addict, what's up? Oh, you missed it. My copy of Mario 64 was glitching the heck out. It was like... <laughs> Horribly, horribly pitched weird sounds, and Mario was, like, concussing into a bowling ball and moving around. It was the weirdest vein. <laughs> okay! Koopa the quick! More like Koopa the slow! I've been up here for ages! Granted, I used a cannon to blast my way up here. Well, it's true, Marty won't mind if I do that. Wow, you beat Koopa the Quick! I can't believe it! <laughs> Wait. I beat Koopa the Quick, though! Did he accuse me of cheating? Did he accuse me of cheating? Is it because I used the cannon, or is it because I used the teleporter? I cheated a lot. I just, need, I just need to know so I don't do it next time. Cannons are forbidden in the race. That's bull. I've seen speedrunners do it. Yeah! Okay, not Yahoo. They took the Yah out of my Who. Alright, fine. Well, you know, he literally walks up walls, so if he can cheat, I can cheat too. That's how the rules work. Here we go! I can't do a one-star run, Marty. I can do a 31-star run, though. Alright, fine, we shoot to the island in the sky. Koopa the Quick, fine, because I have to wait for his <laughs> to hit for his fat butt to get up there anyways. We'll do a foot race, alright? Fine people. I, I see how it is. Hey Mario, is it true you beat the big bob bomb and cheated against me? You must be pretty strong and fast. How fast are you anyways? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. <laughs> if you if you want to see Koopa the Quick, wait until Mario Kart tonight when I play as Koopa Troopa and Shaggy stream. <laughs> Then you'll see Koopa the Quick. Hi, Chain Chomp. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> Koopa the Quick, more like Koopa the Prick. Uh, yeah, I know, right? I swear I take the teleporter up for most of the time when I do Koopa the Quick, but maybe not. It's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, Yahoo! Oop. Yank! There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Koopa the moderately speedy. Koopa the sort of okay at top speed, but mainly is good for acceleration and turning. Oh yeah, our cartridge can do the backwards wall and jumps, Marty. I've done it before. <laughs> I could do it this game. I can't wait till we get to the basement, because... Especially for Hazy Maze Cave, I can do some pretty sick sequence breaks. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, you really are fast! A human blur! Here you go, you won it fair and square. You didn't cheat twice. I did a better time running than using the cannon and the teleport. <laughs> that just goes to show you, everybody. Cheaters never prosper if they get caught. Mario wings to the sky. All right. Now it's time to show you guys how terrible I am at getting all of the wings to the sky rings in one go. Ouch! The barbed wire fence hurt in my face. <laughs> Mario, we need you to kick. Mario, we need you to kick! There we go. I should stream gun Mario. I'm sorry, what? What? I don't understand what you're trying to say, Marty. I should... S After this, I should stream gun Mario 64? What is that? Is that Mario 64, but you have a gun? Is that a mod? I've tried installing mods for Mario 64. I haven't gotten it to work. To all of you people who know Mario 64 better than I, is it actually possible to fly through all of these in one blast of the cannon? Because I swear I've never seen anyone do it.
No, oh wait. No! Ow! Oh, Cards! Well, I can tell by the stun the name that it was definitely an American who made that fan that <laughs> hack. Oh, that sounds amazing. It sounds like my life. Okay. You know, at least you're not requesting Super Releasio 64 again. I'm not playing that one. Marty's like, it's like the best game ever. It's like every texture is a toad, and every word is a toad, and every sound effect is toads. It's like, that sounds like the worst fane I've ever seen. Oh, come on. Why is this star so annoying to get? Like, seriously. Don't cheese me at the game. <laughs> toad, 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 toad. Okay. <laughs> I, I never claim to be good at the game. I just claim to be passable, or good enough to get 100%. And I stand by that. There we go. It only took like 10 blasts out of the cannon, but we got it. Whee! It's a Mario! I will go to swim through the skies! Here we go! <laughs> I, I tried installing Star Revenge 2 Night of Doom, because that, that was at the time supposed to be the hardest Mario 64 hack, and I've debated doing a stream like, can I get even one star in this game? The answer, I think, would be a uh, resounding no. I'm the best! Alright. Off to one of the only good ice worlds. Cool, cool mountain. Toad is the best. Slip sliding away. Snow Mountain Summit! Watch for slippery conditions! Please enter the cottage first. Screw you, I do what I want! We're getting the penguin back. Here you go, Penguin. We'll get you back to your mom. No worries. Wooboink! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the old abandoned ski lift. We're not going that way. That's right. Mario can't run if he's carrying a penguin. What? Apparently, if you just touch snow, not like it landed on by snow, no, if you just touch snow, that'll literally hurt, suck your life force away. But it's okay, if you pick up money, you'll get it back, just like in real life. Mama Pango with her the Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> you found my precious, precious baby. Here, have this star in my eternal gratitude. I'm gonna take it back now. <laughs> I love how the big penguin's like, ah! Uh -huh. It would be funny if the big penguin attacked you after trying to take it back. <laughs> oh boy, a little penguin lost! <laughs> That's a pretty easy. <laughs> I hate it because the pe the little penguin that's actually next to the big penguin is not actually her baby. She lost her baby at the top of the mountain. Don't ask me how. She just did. All right. Is this not the right part of the level? Oh, it is. Yeah, we skipped the cannon entirely. See, so that's the kind of mod I can get behind. Most of these Mario 64 mods is like, oh, we made the game basically impossible. <laughs> it's like, apparently people enjoy playing that, but I do not. <laughs> Looking at you, Super Mario 74 Extreme. <laughs> no! Oh, wow. Oh, you try to choose me, game. No, you don't. 
Yeah, because I know Nintendo Attic, you played um, Mario 64 Ocarina of Time crossover, and that was cool. Okay, oh, Sonic, you missed the game breaking completely, <laughs> but <laughs> welcome back. We're on Cool Cool Mountain now. Hey, you really should do the first star. All right, fine, I'll do the first star. <laughs> do, 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 do. I love the shortcut in here. It's like I'm playing 1080 snowboarding. Ya yeah, boink! <laughs> Please don't, Marty. That's not mu I believe I believe it's you request a music track. That's not music. That's literally just like that is that that is that that is that That's not no sane person can call that music. It's like the the old test track Q line music. It's just mechanical parts clinking. Hi Hunter! <laughs> I hope I hope you enjoy racing penguins, because that's exactly what we're about to do. Oh boink! Out <laughs> My bottom! Hey, hey Mario buddy! How's it going? Step right up. You look like a fast sledding kind of guy. I know speed when I see it, yes siree! I'm the world champion sledder, you know. What do you say? How about a race? Dash do it. Now, unfortunately, the penguin is extremely strict about a no-cheating policy. If you take the shortcut or if you stay in the air for longer than two seconds, he considers that you've cheated and he won't, like, give you the prize. Look, if I get sick airtime, man, then I get sick airtime. That doesn't make my victory any less legitimate. That's the sound you make when you're making a tight turn. I believe you owe me a prize. <laughs> hey, Jay, nice to see you. Oh, I love that emote. <laughs> you broke my record. Unbelievable. I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take the star instead. Instead, um, didn't Powser take all of these? I swiped it from him. <laughs> I love the happy roller coaster tycoon guest emote. That's great. <laughs> I got 68 coins without even really trying. Okay. We're gonna do the red coins next, but we're used doing them on slip slide in a way so the big penguin won't show up. Down we go. Not Bowser Marty, he's Powser. Because I accidentally called him Powser at the beginning. So this is canon now. Or Bowser is like the first Bowser, like the fake one that you fight earlier. Yeah. Oh no no no! But I I don't want to die. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> you know he's still cooler than Bowser. I'm just shots fired. I don't even know how ba Bowser became a fan. I don't really want to know. But it's got to stop. It's gone too far. <laughs> this has gone too far. Now, there are two of them. We're just here collecting the coins for the 100 coin star because I don't want to collect these last and have the star spawn on the slide. Because if, unless I'm mistaken, if I think if you spawn the 100 coin stars on the slide and then you leave, the star despawns. Wow, that's a lot of coins. <laughs> hey, Bubba Booyah! <laughs> hey, dear Fred! What? <laughs> now, if you want to keep people out of your house, that is how you do it. Put no doorknob on the house. How's anyone supposed to get in? Hey, little big guy. Don't worry, I see your mom down here. That's not my baby! She looks nothing like me! Her parents must be worried sick! Well, I mean... I, no, I'm trying to take the baby away. 
She's like, take that away! And then she refuses to let me take it away. Logic. Yike! <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Alright. And you know what's annoying? You can't take the teleporters if you're holding the baby penguin. So you can't just grab it up here and take the teleporter down. It's like, oh, nope. You committed to the baby penguin. You gotta slide down the whole slide. I definitely need that. <laughs> I don't know how, but somehow I've died a whole bunch in this game already. Alright. Red coin number five. Oof! Get out! Come on! Give it up! Alright, we're gonna get the last... Just punch him to death. Cool. So we'll actually get the hundred coins just by grabbing this last red coin. There it is. Sweet. The sooner we get those hundred coin stars out of the way, the happier I'll be. No! 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 Come the freak on! I hate the physics in this game. You touch a 20 degree slope and Mario gets sucked into the void. Oh well, I, again, at least I got the at least I got the 100 coins. The red coins actually aren't that difficult. The red coins aren't that difficult to grab. We Yahoo! Let's try that again. Frosty slide for red coins. This time with less being a dummy. Fingers crossed, at least. <laughs> Mario, just get over the fence! It's like an inch tall. Yeah. Once again, ice physics proving that they have no business ever existing. <laughs> they literally just exist to make your life less happy. Again, I'm all for realism in video games, as long as the realism doesn't impede the fun factor. Okay, really, Mario? <laughs> you didn't fall that far. Gotta make sure we grab this one. Oh, and we can take the gondola up. We don't even need to bother with the warp. And we don't even have to bother getting the red bow on because we cheesed wall kicks will work. Uh, I do love the sequence breaking you can do in this game. Snowman lined up. Alright. I'm going to grab this red coin before doing the long jump. So that way we don't accidentally... Oh my gosh, even the bridge has ice physics. There we go. We didn't even need the blue coin switch. What a frosty slide. Alright, we can finish up Cool Cool Mountain, then I think we'll do the first Powser fight. Oh. No! That igloo... It's, that igloo, man. It's like the mall in Crazy Taxi. It has a gravitational pull. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. 
Well, follow me! Hey, dude! Do I have a surprise for you? There you go, Mr. Blizzard. I hope you enjoyed that. Perfect! What a great new body! Here, this is a present for you. I'm sure it'll warm you, warm you up. Oh, that's just what I wanted for Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Blizzard. Thank you. Snowman's lost his head, but he found it again. It's okay, I lose my head all the time. Oh my gosh, we almost have enough stars to go to the second Bowser fight. Let's go to... Let's skip Jolly Roger Bane. It's definitely not because I don't like that course. <laughs> but... There we go. It's Peach! Oh my gosh, Peach! It's here! Oh wait, no, it's Bowser. Boink. You've stepped right into my trap just as I knew you would! I warn you, friend, watch your step. Not particularly. It's a water level. I don't really like water levels. It's definitely better than Dire Dire Docks, though. Uh-oh. Jolly Roger Bay is your favorite course? Call me surprised. You do know that Womp's Fortress exists, right? Yikes! Mario, it's okay. Just take the electric shock and get the red coin. I don't hate Jolly Roger Bay, I just don't... It's, it's just kind of meh. As far as water worlds go, I guess it's pretty alright. At least it's short. <laughs> Last red coin is down here, isn't it? There it is, yep. No! Oh. Mario, why do you slip everywhere? That's true, there are no bottomless pits in Jolly Roger Bay. But there is the freaking eel. Shudders. Alright, red coins went without a hitch. I, only, I nearly died, though. Wow, another power star! Bowser will be so happy. All right. What's up, Powser? Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. <laughs> Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. <laughs> no, Sonic. Not your link to the past save data. That sucks. So long, gay Powser. Stupid Powser, how dare you. Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Is that the first time Pe she's ever referred to as Peach? <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. Shifting Sandland is one of your favorites. Now that's interesting. My favorite levels are Womp's Fortress, Tall Tall Mountain, and maybe... Maybe Snowman's Land, or I also like Lethal Lava Land. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you had just beaten the Thieves' Town. Oh, that's, that really sucks, Sonic. Uh, 
Alright, we're skipping Big Boost Haunt and Jolly Roger Bay for now, because I really want to go to Hazy Maze Cave. <laughs> and get the two extra caps. First things first. Oh, actually, really first things first. Let's get that bunny. Get back here, Mips. There we go! Yeah, oh, and hand me, Brune! I wait, I wait, I must make haste! The shiny fiend? Mine, it's mine! Finders, keepers, losers! Wait, wait, wait! Ouch! Take it then! I get from Bowser it was! Now let me be! I have a date! I cannot be late for tea! Oh, that's right, Peach. She does sign it Peach at the end of the. Never mind. That's the first time someone else calls her Peach, though. Alright! I like playing with you too, Sonic. Link to the Past is definitely a lot of fun. And co-commentary always makes it great. Alright. So before Hazy Maze Cave, we should get Vanish Cap. Ironically, swimming is one of the things I think this game actually did really, really well, and a lot of other 3D platformers did not emulate as well. Also, I've been told... If you go to the four corners of... I've been told that if you go to the four corners of that room, a one-up spawns, which is weird. Hazy Maze Cave is... It's definitely hard on your first playthrough, but there's a lot of... Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch course. All of the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step on the Vanish Cap Switch. You'll disappear when you put it on. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. There's a lot of sequence breaks you can do in Hazy Maze Cave, though, as you're going to see when I go there. Whew. Oh, that's just for a one-up, though. Still want it. Oh, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie swimming is definitely tricky to get used to, especially in uh, Clanker's Cavern. Banjo-Tooie did swimming a lot better. Alright, now comes my arch enemy. The lift platforms. That's true, Jay, yeah. As I, as I said at the beginning, this game literally decided what 3D platformers were going to be. And basically every single 3D platformer followed Mario 64's example. So definitely super revolutionary, I love it. No, wait, are you... I don't remember that being that precise at the end there. You stepped on the Vanish Cap switch. Here we go! Whew. I don't know, Mario, my main complaint with Mario 64 is like, you can't change momentum really while you're in the air, and it's everything's just so slippery. Also, Mario bonks on the walls with very little difficulty. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I think if you touch the four corners... A special surprise appears. Okay, maybe... Maybe not. Did the Mario 3D All-Stars port actually fix a lot of this stuff? Because I've heard that some of these Switch-emulated N64 games really suck. Hey Toad, give me a free star. HOLD ON TO YOUR HAT! IF YOU LOSE IT, YOU'LL BE INJURED! Okay, yeah, great. Give me this. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Time for some fun. So 
first things first. Takes more than half an A press, but... Easy first star. Watch for rolling rocks! Alright. Time for my favorite star. <laughs> oh, no backwards long jump. That's terrible. Okay, we're gonna get amazing emergency exit now. Now, I can't remember exactly how to get it, but I'll figure it out. I think it's just you get around here, and then... Yep! <laughs> you clip up here, and then... Skip all of it! Here we, go. <laughs> we skipped so much. <laughs> Amazing emergency exit! Oh boy! <laughs> you recovered 30 power stars! Now you can open the big 30 star door with Powser 2. That's true. I really love the physics and controls of Mario Galaxy. I just don't like how they cut out a lot of the exploring elements. Alright. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. So the thing about Hazy Maze Cave is, there are no ceilings, so... There are no ceilings on this, so with enough uh, vertical height, you can actually clip out of bounds extremely easily. Which, if you get the right angle, we're trying to aim for that wall so it'll bounce us over the other wall. Alright, can we get behind Mario? Can we get behind Mario, which is the whole point of Mario Cam? Oh! Yes! Unfortunately, we missed the main platform in the center, which is what we were aiming for, but that's okay. We'll get another chance. Instead, we'll go with a metal cap. Wait, the, til the tilting controls are better on the Switch than on the Wii? That seems weird. I also hate how they didn't put in Mario Galaxy 2 on the All-Stars. Welcome to the Metal Cap course! Mario Galaxy 2 is one of the best 3D Mario games. I'd say it's number 2. Or number 3. Not sure if I like it more than Galaxy. Or not Galaxy 1. Uh, Odyssey. I probably like Odyssey a bit more. Odyssey really brought back the whole exploring gimmick. We got the Metal Cap! You haven't seen this before? Yeah, uh, it took my family years to find the metal cap. We knew it existed, and we were told it's in the maze, but... We never actually found it. Here we go. I don't think Galaxy 2 was any more linear than Galaxy 1. Shots fired. Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2 basically took out a lot of the exploring, and just, it's like, alright, fly from one planet to the next, in kind of a 2D Mario-style way. That's how I always viewed it. Alright, let's try this again. Rats, hit the wrong wall. To be honest, this doesn't even save a whole lot of time, but I just like how cool it looks. And as we know, that's what skateboarding is all about. Okay. Do, 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 do. The things I go to just to show off weird glitches. Darn it! Mario, I kind of need you to wall jump, buddy. I, 
I can't really think of any wide open galaxies. Even something like Honey Hive, where like there are planets to explore, it's still very linear in the path you take. Oh, what's the what's the amazing Mario game that we are forgetting about, Sonic? How did you not wall jump off of that? S uh, I'm not a fan of Sunshine that much. I appreciate what Sunshine tried to do, but it's just not that fun to me. Like, half of the stars in that game suck and are just not fun to get. I say stars. The Shine Sprites. The blue coins were poorly implemented. A lot of the secrets are just frustrating. How did you not wall jump off of that? There we go. Oh, darn it. And we didn't even land on the platform anyways. I didn't say Sunshine wasn't fun, I just said I don't particularly enjoy it. It's definitely my least favorite of the 3D Mario games. That's also one I really have no idea- oh, no... <laughs> no desire to 100%, because that game is almost impossible to 100% without using guides. You can't even see how many blue coins are on each level, or how many that you've gotten, or how many are exclusive to given missions. The hotel was one thing. I'm mainly thinking the blue coins. And the dumb things like the pachinko machine and the lily pad ride were awful. Alright. That's an elegant way of putting it, Nintendo Addict. <laughs> but I will say this about Sunshine. Really good graphics. Considering it's a GameCube game, the graphics hold up super well. Especially the water effects. Water is not easy to do. I appreciate Sunshine for what it is and what it tried to do. I just... I think it has a lot of weak points. And I think those weak points are much more glaring than some of the ones in the other 3D Mario games. <laughs> we don't speak of Yoshi from Mario Sunshine. I hate the long jumps you have to do there. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. The levels are fairly unique, despite them all being beach-themed. Okay, well, New Super Mario Bros. is not 3D Mario. It's a totally different thing. So every new Super Mario Bros., you're going to have the grass world, you're going to have the desert world, you're going to have the snow world, you're going to have the mountain world, the forest, like, poison world, the cloud world, and, um, the lava world. Like, always. That's why I didn't really like a lot of the new Super I liked the original, and I liked uh, new Super Mario Bros. 2, because the whole point of that one was just collect money. <laughs> It knew what it was. <laughs> and they just went all out for it. And I can't remember which one of these takes me to the maze and which one takes me to the emergency exit. I think this actually takes me to the emergency exit. That's not what I want. Wait, post... I'm sorry, what are you talking about, Marty? Post-apocalyptic Kirby? If it's not Kirby Air Ride 2, I really don't care. Sad, but true. Darn it, did I literally back... I had the right elevator to begin with, and I... Great. Ugh. But this matches the flooring in the maze, and the other does. They screwed up. They messed up the floors on me. Yeah. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did see that Kirby game. That was a weird looking Kirby game. Yeah, see, now the floor is tan, but the tan it didn't wasn't the tan floor except in the other tunnel. All right. Now comes the hard part. Now comes the coin missions. M-rated Mario Party. You're going to have to look to the mods for that. Personally, I don't want Mario Party in any way, shape, form, or flavor. Because Mario Party is trash. At least for someone of my tastes. I'm looking to minimize the amount of luck I have to deal with, not maximize it. But some of the minigames can be very fun. Warning, the elevator's out of commission. <laughs> Corpse Party, that sounds like a f nice, fun, family-friendly Mario Party alternative, and definitely not anything else. Hey, Sniffit. I said, hey, Sniffit. Alright, blue coin switch. Where did it make blue coins appear? Oh. Well, I hope we didn't need any of those blue coins in order to get the 100 coin star. I think there's some leeway. Yeah, definitely not. That's why you play Link to the Past. Link to the Past is not gory. It's got all the action without any of the bad stuff. Shink. Guilty Party is good if you go in with some house rules. Like, no putting knockout traps in the room that the other person is already in. That just breaks the game. But yes, Guilty Party can be very fun. Alright, we'll elevate for eight red coins at the end. Oh yeah, that's right, Animal Crossing got an update, didn't it? Hi, Skullbug. Every time I do that, it's always a like, rolling rock coming right at you, boink. Alright, now we don't grab the star. But I think there's a box on the other side. Maybe I am just crazy. I'm just crazy. Now here's where the money at. I'm impatient to use too impatient to use the elevator. Wee hee. Sonic of War. <laughs> Is that God of War but with Sonic characters? That sounds like the weirdest crossover ever. Hi, Dory. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna <laughs> knock the air wind out of you and ride your head over to this platform to get some money. Pretty basic stuff. Alright, I'm a little bit nervous that I didn't get all the blue coins because they were very well hidden from where the blue coin switch was. Now we go off to elevate rate red coins. Hmm. 
Honestly, for Fire Emblem, they could do a lot of different things. I hope that they do so I hope it's not just Free Houses 2. I really don't want Free Houses 2, because they kind of tried that with Fates, and from what I understand, Fates is not that good. No, 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 no! What the heck?! That was a 20 degree decline! Are you serious? <sighs> this is why I hate Mario 64 sometimes. Are you kidding me? This is also why I hate the 100 coin missions. If you die after you've collected a bunch, it's like, well, yeah, it sucks to be you. We're spitting on your grave, and now do it again. Yahoo! Mario bonked into nothing, completely lost all control, slid down a 20 degree incline into a pit, and there was absolutely nothing I could have done about it. Ball poop. Alright, here we go. At least this time, I guess we can get the blue coins. All of them. The Monty Mole. No, the Monty Moles don't give anything. They're greedy little misers. Okay. Slam the switch. Just slam the switch already, good lord. Okay. That was a lot of blue coins that I missed out on last time. <laughs> that was a lot of blue coins. Alright, now I'm pretty confident we're going to get the, blue co uh, the 100 coin star. Now that leads to the emergency exit. Don't want to go there. <clears throat> there we go. Get out of the toxic maze. Mo money. Ski you later. Are there any coins up here, or just the star? Just the star, alright. <sighs> Here's the problem. I think we have to go back to the swimming beast in the cavern to get some more coins. But, this stupid black hole might suck me in again. Guess that's a risk we have to take. For the sake of peace. Yeah. Alright. I don't know why there's all this toxic gas in the cave, but it's not good for my complexion. Now, money is great for the complexion. Alright. I think it's a myth that it's toxic. I don't think there's any real evidence to suggest that it is. Oh look, no matter where I go, the boulder runs me over when I do that. It's like it has a mind of its own and knows which way you're gonna be in. Alright. Okay, we get 16 coins alone from the 8 red coins, so we, we could... Alright. Long jump was a bad idea. Do we have to triple jump there, or should... No. Yeah, and I could jump on it from that side! Why couldn't I jump on it from the other side? Physics are not even consistent. There we go. That is... 
much more difficult than I expected it to be. Hmm. Alright, now we elevate for eight red coins. Here we go. This elevator is weird. It's the only time in the game something like this appears. Parkour, parkour! <laughs> parkour! <laughs> I learned that trick for watching speed ready too. <laughs> okay, good to know. I work. I will not be free until Thursday, Marty. My week is going to be filled. Like, the only day that would actually work before Thursday would be, like, tonight. <laughs> because Sunday I'm at Mom and Dad's slash doing the evening uh, church service, Monday for Wednesday I work, and then Wednesday night I'm going to the movies with friends. But yeah, we definitely need to record more of that thing that we're recording. Oh, great! We're going to get the 100... Um, the new Ghostbusters movie, and I have never seen any Ghostbusters movie, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, thank goodness Mario stays at the <laughs> You've collected a hundred power stars! Where did we go? <laughs> Alright, there we go. All right, Hazy Maze Cave is done. Wonderful. <laughs> Elevate for eight red coins and a hundred regular ones. All right. Let's do another one of my favorites. He looks friendly. Boil the big bully. Don't be a pushover if anyone tries to shove you around. Push back! It's one-on-one -on -one with a fiery finish for the loser. I don't like pushing people in lava, even if they have been mean to me. Alright, well, first off... Time for sequence break. Well, probably, like, everything's just red, even the sky. Who needs to do red hot log rolling? We'll just fly there. Here we go! Easy peasy lem squeezy. It's an interesting theme, for sure. Perfectly sums up both the lava and the sand levels. Oh, 
Uh oh. That's not what I meant to do. Apparently just jumping into them makes them? Oh wow, jumping into them actually sends them flying. How did I not know this? Oh, that makes it so much easier. <laughs> that doesn't work for the big bully, does it? No. That's why he's the big bully. Excuse me, I backflipped. Take that. Right into the star, here we go! That was great, Mario. Bully the bullies. That's the only way the bullies learn, is if you bully them back. Ouch. I didn't want to burn my butt so soon. I mean, obviously I wanted to burn my butt at some point, just not at that point. Now we fly over to this big bully. Hey, dude. Joink. Oh, man. I could have repeatedly glided into him. That would have been great. To push him off the cliff. Goodbye. Goodbye, love ducks. Goodbye. Ooh, I look f I look forward to it, Marty. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, let's go for a hundred coins now. And we'll actually let the music play. <laughs> Wow. Boys only give you one coin? Goodbye. Just grab the blue coin, thank you. It's not too difficult. Where's the Koopa shell on this level again? We gotta get the Koopa shell. Also, easiest red coins ever. <laughs> They're literally just lying out. Oh, that's right. If the puzzle completes, you get money. Even though we didn't complete the puzzle. I forget where the Koopa shell is. It's over here somewhere. Lakitu, can you move the camera, please? That kick doesn't send me as far as I thought it would. Ow! No, 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 no. That was close. That almost got me goose cooked! No! No! Come on! Alright, we're finding that Koopa shell right away. Can 
Holy shells over here somewhere. Can't remember exactly where, but I know it's over here somewhere. Right? It has to be. Well, Mario, you know how you've always complained that your baths aren't hot enough? Well, you won't be having that problem anymore. That's just not nice, boys. remember the puzzle being that dangerous. Eesh. Okay, seriously, where is that Dane shell? I know there's a Koopa shell on this level. I'm gonna get a better eye with this, then. Is it in- oh, is it in the center? see it here. Is it over by the log? Okay, I'm not crazy. There is a Koopa shell on this level somewhere, right? There was no box at the beginning. All right, I'll check. I went right at the beginning. It's not there. Hop on the shiny shell and ride wherever you are. There's no shiny shell here. There is no shiny shell here. See? <laughs> Playing dangerous games with that. Gibby dee doop doop doop. Yeah, I'm not crazy, so it just disappeared on me. It just flat out did not spawn. Alright. Oh! Pro moves. Alright. I hope there's more in the volcano. I hope there's enough in the volcano, at least. The blue coin switch should be in here, so that should help. <laughs> Why would it only spawn on stars 5 and 6? That doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no! Why do you have such bad controls? And this is with the good controller. Hmm. Well, at least that explains why I couldn't find it. I did I couldn't find it because the game said no. Because Pharaoh said no. Is there no blue coin switch on this level? Yeah. 
I really hope there are more coins up this way. Are you for real, Mario? Are you serious? Okay, fine. We'll get the coin. Oh, that's right. It, it conveniently checkpoints you here, so that way you can't get out. Alright. Oh! Hardcore parkour! <laughs> Are you... Mario, you barely even touch the wall, and you completely come to a freaking stop. <sighs> Just a friendly reminder, I hate the physics in this game. Fancy schmancy trying to ball and jump to the other star. We're just getting this one. Get it! Red coin and then everything else. Oh, actually, for now we can se manually select star 5, and Koopa Shell appears here now. No, Koopa Shell doesn't appear here now. <laughs> Liar! Anakin. The Koopa Shell is fake news. There's a sign advertising it, but it's not actually here. here we go. It's a myth. Doesn't actually exist, it's just a myth. Eight coin puzzle with 15 pieces. I selected mission five and it didn't appear. If it doesn't appear here, then... Why does it... Okay, so it only appears on mission six, then. It's the... One of the dumbest things ever. I can't believe that didn't knock me off the Koopa Shell, to be honest. Koopa Shell makes this mission so much more fun. What? Well, all fun's gotta come to an end. Come on, follow me. That doesn't... But they give you a wing cap, which can skip things just as easily, if not more easily. It does... it just doesn't make sense. Also, is there truly no blue coin switch on this... Maybe it's over by the log rolling? Wait, what? Well, that's just rude. Uh, 
Oh, well, there's no blue coin switch over there. I have no idea. <laughs> this world makes no sense. I'm afraid to jump into the lava with this block. Are you freaking serious? Mamma mia. No, you don't just shrug it off with a mamma mia. That's a bit of a pity. It's like, Mario, no. Well, alright, at least I get to keep the Koopa shell for hopefully a little bit longer than, like, ten seconds. Please just grab the coin. Thank you. <laughs> I love I love the sound of get here getting all the red coins one after another. Alright. We have to watch out for the fireballs this time. I didn't get hit by anything. Alright. No, no! I did not say teleport! Thank you for not despawning. Thankfully, there are a lot of one-ups on this level. Yes, the eyeball over here! Why is this guy not looking at me? Why is this guy not looking at me? There we go. Is it like a T-Rex that can't see movement until it actually gets it locked onto you? Now that I know how few coins are actually in the volcano, I'm super paranoid that I'm gonna... Are you freaking serious? I... This should not be this difficult. Yes, hit the guy on the Koopa shell that will knock you into the lava. Great idea. Yeah, there are no- No! There must not be that many coins on this level. Because I co on that first attempt, I almost collected every single coin in the overworld, and I did not have a hundred coins when I made it after the volcano. So there's gotta be, like, barely a hundred coins in this world. Not quite to dire dire on dock levels, but... Yeah. 
Like, I really don't want to have to kill every single individual Bulby on this level just to get the coins from them. You f freaking box. Jump backwards, not into the lava, you dumb butt! You can't... Gr that box is positioned in such a way you can only jump in the lava with it. And then all the coins disappear. Yeah, this gets a lot less fun the, like, the 20th time you have to do it. These aren't even the hard levels. Okay. Going into the volcano with 91 coins. That... that should be enough. That should be enough. Yep, that's enough. Alright, good. At the very least, that's one star out of the way. Darn it! Are you s Why does Mario just not grab on sometimes? He should have grabbed onto that. Lethal Lava Land completed! And thank goodness for that. Jump into the steel wall, and we're going to Shifting Sand Land. Definitely not one of my favorite levels. Great angle, Akatu. I definitely want to see the floor beneath me. Naturally, we're not going to the first star first. No way. Okay. Which pillar does it say I... Which pillar did it say I did not stand tall enough?
these pillars can be very finicky. There we go. Ow. Okay, that didn't go quite according to plan. But no harm done. Still get the this star. Yes, I'm going to battle <laughs> Rocky Bongo Bongo. There we go. There we go. Easy enough fight. Here we go! Nice job, Morty. Way to stand tall on the four pillars. Let's spread out the love a bit. Let's do the red coin next. Red coin singular. Actually, I'm not going to combine this with the 100 coin one, because you have to go inside the pyramid for the 100 coins, which forfeits you to your right to the red coin star. Um, what? <laughs> are you... Are you kidding me? That's physically impossible. I think I'm just playing with a cursed copy of the game. Alright, apparently touching toy boxes can suck you into the quicksand instantaneously with no warning. Better watch out for that. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Thank you. We gonna be needing that. That to get some height for the other coins. That actually was really easy. Other than the whole toy box sucking me into the sand thing. Mm. 
name your prize. Here we go! Alright, so far so good. I'm sure the 100 coin challenge is gonna give me some trouble. As is the norm. There we go. Koopa Shell can cheese a lot on this stage. Okay. Well, that's just not nice. That's really not nice. I don't understand why the kick up the wall strategy works sometimes and not others. This game is weird. Yeah, you better run away, Klepto. <laughs> the sooner I get the star from Klepto, the sooner he's going to start stealing my hat, so I really don't want to grab that one just yet. <laughs> no! Got a triple jump up there now. It's harder than it sounds. Okay. Did not want to do that. Because now Clepto's out for blood. He's like, that's my... <laughs> that's my hat now. It's free real estate. Oh man, those pillars have wonky physics. <laughs> Slow down. Can I keep the wind cap in here? No, that's too much to ask. There we go, and we skip... ...everything in the pyramid. Wonderful. Inside the ancient pyramid. It's not that ancient, it's only a couple thousand years old. Alright. Now, off for the 100 coin star. We're doing the freaking bird last. 100 coins and pyramid puzzle. That's how we gonna be. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened there, but okay. I'll wait for the pokey to come out of the quicksand pit. Uh, did not expect that to happen, but all right. Yes, give me the blue coins. Yeah. 
That's the first time I've actually walked over that this playthrough. <laughs> I've always just flown or ridden the shell. Free money, I like that very much. I'm gonna boing back to safety. Yeet. Alright. We can grab a couple more red sa red coins for safety, I think. But I think most of the rest of them are found inside the pyramid. I know there's a blue coin switch in there. This I know for a fact. That is weird how Lethal Lava Land does not seem to have a blue coin switch. I think that's the only level, then, that doesn't have one. The only one off the top of my head. It seems really weird that that's the only stage without one. Maybe I'm just stupid and missed it, but... I'm pretty sure I can think of exactly where the blue coin switches are for every other level. Alright. I think that's enough shenanigans. Let's go inside the pyramid. for the main entrance that they want you to go in. Alright. Excellent. I like the music in the pyramid, and I like all these underground areas. It's kind of creepy, but also really good. Upon four towers, one must alight, then at the peak shall shine the light. You rhymed light with light. That's lazy. Yeah, the choir in this song is really good. Oh yeah, I forgot how many coins there are in here. Mario, you've been in the sand for, like, literally two seconds. <laughs> Not even two seconds, like, a millisecond, and he's already sunk in so much that he can't jump up an inch. That makes sense. Alright. Okay, I, I know the rest of them are up higher in the pyramid. <laughs> Oh, hey! This is exactly what we need. Don't make that impossible to collect. No. D 
Do not tell me that's impossible to collect. Okay, good. We can walk on top of this. I would have been so ticked if it had spawned in an <laughs> impossible location. Alright. Now for the actual pyramid puzzle. You ain't rolling me over today, Chief. Where's the sandy fall? Over here. Yes, there it is. Fall down here. Darn freaking gun it! I can't tell how far laterally that is! freaking back up again. Thankfully, we were fairly close to the top anyways, but it's the principle of the thing. have to take fall damage. There we go. At last. I have no idea how people beat this entire game 100% in like less than two hours. Insanity. Alright, and now we get the easiest start. <laughs> okay. I don't like these bouncy boxes. Alright, Birdie, over here. Fine, Birdie, don't go over here. See if I can. Are you kidding me? He flew to the other... Okay, yeah. Yeah, get over here. What?! I literally hit him! There we go. Shifting Sandland is freaking done. Good. And the talons of the big bird. Oh, hey, 50 stars! I should probably do Bowser now. Oh, hey, Mips is back now. Now that we have 50 stars. Yeah, <laughs> right into my arms. Not you again! Just give me my star. Here we go. You got the power of the stars, alright. We're done with this whole steel area. Off to Dire Dire Docks. <laughs> we need 30 stars to go through here. Easy. 
Well, not easy. We actually have struggled quite a bit. Jump into the water on the wall. Board Bowser sub. Ah, uh, water levels. All right, time to board the sub. So I've I've heard you can actually board the sub by boarding its fins in the back. Haven't tried this before, so let's give it a go. Okay. Well, Bowser's sub is apparently made of gelatin, which pushes you underwater if you even touch it. All right, so far so good. Of course, as every substance in the game is exactly the same, if Mario gets on it, he slides on his butt to his death. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's actually quite doable. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, Mario 64 is great music. Alright, Dire Dire Nox, we did the required mission, and now we're defeating Bowser in the Fire Sea. Which took me ages to find all the red coins on, by the way. Oh, ouch. There are a couple of red coins on this stage that are extremely well hidden. Are you... Are you serious? All of my lava bounces just happened to be right beneath the gate, so I kept... Why am I even surprised at this point? Oh, hey. Nice. This red coin took me the longest to find. That's evil. <laughs> if you're on this level and they're missing a red coin, I basically guarantee you it's that one. Koopa's Road is really good. I'm sorry, though. The best track in the whole game is the final boss music. And for me, it's not even close. The final boss music in this game, I could, like, literally... Li it's, like, the only... The only music basically in existence that I could actually, like, listen to a 10-hour version of. <laughs> it's too good. Oh, that's fair. Don't... It's really good. I won't spoil it. Yeah, what? This isn't hard to walk up. In the real in the real world, that would be extraordinarily easy to walk up, and Mario has the hardest time in the world. Like Mario, you can do these crazy parkour tricks, but you can't walk up a 30 degree slope. And it's not even like a salt made of ice or anything. It's literally just an inclined plane. Ouch. Oh, 
hey, you can jump out of, you can wall jump out of a uh, long jump. Oh, no, 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 Are you freaking serious? It would not let me move up. Every time I moved up, it just forced me away from the free- Oh, I'm ticked. That literally should not have happened. Parts of this game control and feel great, and then just dumb crap like that happens. Again. Mario, don't grab onto the pole, we don't need it. There we go. Bowser in the fire see red coins. Alright, Bowser. Time for round two. Pestering me again, are you, Mario? Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? Now return those stars! My troops in the walls need them! <laughs> Every time I do it, a weird, like, loud laugh now, I always get the hiccups. Always. Why couldn't I, why couldn't I grab his tail? Alright. I am surprised I have gotten both Bowsers in one shot. I'm normally terrible with the swing around the tail. Whoa! Can it be that I've lost? The power of the stars has failed me this time. Consider this a draw. Next time I'll be in perfect condition. Now if you want to see your precious princess come to the top of the tower, I'll be waiting. <laughs> I can't do that laugh without getting the hiccups! What the heck? That doesn't even make sense. My life makes no sense. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. That laugh in particular just immediately gives me hiccups when I do it. All right. To the second floor. Yeah. 
curse you, hiccups. Alright, we can do the last worlds if we want. I want to talk to you, Toad. Give me my star. Alright, now... To open the door that leads to the endless stairs, you need 70 stars! Bwahaha! <laughs> Ugh, that picture of Peach is creepy! She's got that foul- Okay, I think I cured my hiccups now. As I was trying to say, that picture of Peach is really creepy. Alright. You'll never reach the top. Yes, I'm okay. Yeah, I just had to cure my hiccups because they were driving me nuts. Yeah, so we can't get up the endless stairs the normal way, but what we can try to do... <laughs> That's how you get up the stairs! <laughs> so we can do Final Bowser now if we want, but... Nope. <laughs> I just wanted to do that for fun. While we still can. Because <laughs> once we get 70 stars, the endless staircase will be fixed. Alright, in the meantime... There's some toads around here. I can't remember which one gives me the star. I think it's you. Here we go! Alright, I think we have time for one more world, and I'm gonna make it a good one. One of my favorites. Let's go to Snowman's Land. Actually, no! No! We're gonna go to Wet Dry World, and we're gonna cheese as many of these stars as we possibly can. You can sequence break a lot of stars in this world, and almost all of them by just triple jumping into the portrait. <laughs> If you triple jump into the portrait, the water level starts out very high, which can allow you to get some of the stars in this world ridiculously quickly and easily. One of the biggest sequence breaks in the whole game is you can skip one of these... In okay, well, not that one. That one we need to do a little bit more. But in the meantime, let's go to the top of the town. Alright, see you, Proxima. Have a fun making your dinner. I hope it is delicious. Okay, Mario. Mario. Stop being stupid. Actually, it's Lakitu who's being stupid, who refuses to move the camera to the left, even though he very clearly can. There's enough room. There we go. Here we go! I, Wet Dry World is definitely my favorite of the water worlds in this game. It's not even close. Shocking arrow lifts. Um, that's not what is supposed to happen. 
When you enter the painting normally, it's supposed to be a higher water level than this. I'm not crazy. Like, when I enter the world, it's at a much lower water level than it's supposed to be. It literally started at the lowest level. It's supposed to start at, like, a medium level. Alright, then I guess we'll do this. It, you... Um, rude. Um, rude? Rude! Whoa, that's... what the heck? I think my copy of the game is just messed up. We've seen some weird stuff today. <sighs> Alright, fine, I'll use the heave ho. Not you! You were not invited to this party. Are you... No. What the... Are you... Just, I freaking hate the physics in this game. Mario's like, I'm going to stand squarely in front of the cage and not move an inch. Oh, you're moving me away from it? Okay, I'll fall off and ground pound everything. Mario, I swear to you. Thank you! Good lord, that is not a hard wall jump to make. There we go. Press elevator, hurry up. Lovely. Alright. Alright, we're gonna lower the water level just a little bit. And I believe that is all we need. Yes. So once the water level is here, you can swim right up to this box. <laughs> and get a free star! <laughs> I have no idea how you're supposed to get this star intentionally. Or how, what they intended you to do, but that's how I always do it. <laughs> Shocking arrow lifts! What's really shocking is not a, <laughs> the arrow lifts. Alright. Secrets in the shallows and sky. This is also easy to, much easier to do when the water level is high. Uh, apparently I missed. There's the first one. I think this is the second one? I can't remember where all five are. Okay, no. That's just a regular old block. I'm pretty sure the one up there is another one, though. Let's touch that switch. All 
All right, fine. We'll touch one of the lower down ones. Do I really need to drain the water all the way? Not all the way, but I'll drain it basically all the way. Because I do remember one of the secrets is in here. I think one of them is over here. Haha! <laughs> I triggered it without actually hitting the box. <laughs> And unless I'm mistaken, I think the last one is up at the top of the course, so... Thank you. Let's do the same thing, but on this wall. Let's do the same thing, but on this wall. Alright, fine, I'll use the heave ho. Was only four? Geronimo! Drat. No! Damn it! Stop it! Mario, get up off of your lazy butt and do something. I don't remember this level being this annoying. Uh, just hit the freaking switcher already! Are you serious? Mario, touch the diamond that is right in front of your face. I'm gonna have to end the stream soon. I am running out of patience, just completely. Alright. Where's the teleporter? Is it on this box? There is a teleporter that takes you up to the cannon. Does anybody remember where the teleporter is on this level? There's a teleporter really low down that takes you up to the cannon. And I can't remember where it is. Gosh. It gives you a crazy amount of coins. I hate those freaking dustpan enemies. I didn't touch your dustpan at all. Oh my gosh, I'm sick of this level already. Okay, yes! See, I was right! 
when I entered it earlier, it put the water level to the lowest. This is what it's supposed to be at when you enter the level for the first time. We are getting these five secrets. Okay. <laughs> And even the game's excuse of, like, oh, Lakitu has to be behind you, so you can't always get in the location to change the camera. It's like, that's bull. Half the time, he absolutely can. isn't a secret there. No. Stupid chuck ya. Why is the camera angle always bad? No matter what you do, the camera angle is always bad here. It's like, oh, do you want it at this really terrible diagonal angle or the opposite really terrible diagonal angle? Absolutely no in-between. So can I look at the board straight because there's plenty of room for you to maneuver the camera to see that? Nope. Like, you should be able to freaking tilt the camera here. Where is that doggone last... the, the secrets? Yeah, I, I knew about that, Shaggy. Uh, so, I've been triple jumping into it whenever I need to get some secrets. Or whenever I need to, like, flood the level at the beginning. But, like, this time I jumped in normally, and it was at, like, a decently low, but not super low level. And then, but then earlier I did the exact same jump, and it was completely empty. And devoid of water. Okay, where is the fifth secret? Okay. That's the third. The fourth one is over here. Where the heck is secret number five? Alright, thanks, Jay. I'll be ending the stream after we're done with Wet Dry World. So, thanks for joining in. Sorry for all the salt. Oh, so close, Mario. <laughs> Mario, it's not difficult to get up here, okay? Just... Okay? Just wall jump up. Mario, I swear, if you miss this one more time... Mario, grab on the freaking edge, pull yourself up, and stop being a little butt. Why is Mario not climbing up there? It's... it's not difficult! Freaking lord! Alright. So we have to get the freaking dust pan to throw us up here, otherwise the other dust pan just, band just throws us right off. Alright. Where the heck is the last secret in the shallow and sky? I truly don't know. 
but I'm gonna look for it. <laughs> With the water level set to high. It's not in those boxes. I already checked. It's gotta be like a really obvious place that I just am like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's not that box. Anybody in Twitch chat, do you remember where the fifth secret in the Shower in the Sky is? I've gotten the one behind the block, I've gotten the one over near the cannon, I've gotten the one on the cage, and I've gotten the one above the little zapper thing. Where the heck is the last one? This isn't even supposed to be a hard mission. Like, I swear there's just one box that's missing. Like, I thought for sure the last secret was above... was at the block above this steel one. But there was nothing there. I know someone in Twitch chat knows where the last one is. I'm... You know, screw it. I'm looking it up. If no one's gonna tell me that I'm looking it up. I've, I've found it before, but where is it? I swear it's just disappeared. Um, as far as I could tell from that list, they mentioned the same one, one of them twice. So, yeah. Things are not being helpful today. Don't even know why I'm letting this game annoy me so much. It's like, it's... I know it's not that big of a deal, but... For some reason, it is irking me so freaking much today. Yeah, it mentioned the push the block the stone block into the center switch that gives the secret twice. As far as I could tell. That's stupid. <laughs> well, great. Now we have the terrible task of actually reaching the star now. No, well, no wonder I couldn't find it. Because it was right next to one I thought I had already gotten. Alright. Well... That was annoying. <laughs> but there we go. Secrets in the Shallow and Sky took way too long. There we are. Alright. Two more stars. We're going for 100 coins next.
All right. I think we need to drain everything to begin with. If we want to maximize the amount of coins that we get. This level would be much better if the camera didn't suck baby bottle pop so much. But, like, the camera is unbelievably sucky on this course, more so than others, and there's literally no reason for it, because it's a very open course. Like, if there was a, a lot of tight hallways, I would understand why you can't change the camera, but it's like, oh no, even though there's an open floor beneath us, there's literally no way you can change the camera. Alright. Glorious. 51 coins already, that's great. Don't, p please don't dust pin me unless I'm ready. There we go. Don't turn around. No, 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 no. Be gone, demon. If we get two more coins, then we can just head on over to the end. No. Mario, did you butter the bottom of your shoes again? I thought I was bad enough when Yoshi was doing that. All right, we got to talk to the bottom now. Hey, buddy. Open the, open the camera. Not the camera. Open the cannon. Please and thank you, God bless. Open up the cannon! And we can blast it, and we can go to town. Literally. <laughs> we say go to town a lot, and we actually mean it. And we get to the creepiest part of the level. Alright, see that cage over there? To infinity and beyond! Once you're in here, you can't ever leave. The way the choir kicks in for this song makes it so creepy. Welcome to town! Why do, like, all the red coins have to be inside blocks so you can't just swim to them? <laughs> it's the oest of bothers. Alright, where- there's an arrow lift down here somewhere. There it is.
Alright. Come to Papa, 100 coin star. Here we go! Alright. Now we just gotta finish with the red coins. Ouch. Ouchie ouch. Okay, the game lag is actually really screwing. Game lag, will you stop screwing up my side somersaults? the game lag or the water that's screwing up my side somersault starts? I think it's the lag. Alright, there we go. 100 coin star and red coin star. One last star to get on wet dry world. And it shouldn't take too long. Alright. To speed things up, we're gonna triple jump in. Flood everything to a higher level than it can be if <laughs> otherwise. This is literally higher than even what the uh, arrow lift sticker can do. Now, if memory serves, I think you can actually just... Yeah, you can just jump up here. You don't even need to take the cannon. But you can only do that if you triple jump into the painting and don't change the water level. All right. Mario. Thank you. There we go! <laughs> Quick race through downtown. Even quicker than usual. Alright, we are just slightly over halfway through the game as far as the total number of stars are concerned. Unfortunately, we have most of the tougher levels that we'll have to do next time, so... Anyways, thank you all for joining in. It was great having people to interact with in Twitch chat. Definitely made this an enjoyable experience. Despite all of my rage and salt, I still had fun playing this game. It was just... <laughs> more frustrating than I remember it being. But we had some good times. We had some good laughs. I will try to finish this up next Saturday, and hopefully we can see a full-on 100% playthrough of Mario 64. Hoping to finish up then. Alright, I bid you all adieu. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless. Mamma mia!